Hello, my beautiful, wonderful goblins, and welcome to an unscheduled video here today where you are supposed to be getting a deep dive into explaining the different ages of the Wheel of Time, but instead you're going to be getting me yelling at giant corporations. Yay. Now, who can you thank for this change of scheduling? That would be toy animation. But before that, I want to tell you something very interesting about LASIK, specifically PRK LASIK, which I just had done. Right after they do the procedure, they lay a contact over your raw, fleshy eye. Then about a week later, they go in with some tweezers and rip off that contact to let your eye then heal, exposed to the fresh air. And what I'm about to tell you about toy animation might feel kind of similar as when that doctor just tore that contact off my freshly healed eye. For those of you who are unaware of the situation that's been developing here on YouTube, Mark over at Totally Not Mark has had over 150 of his One Piece videos claimed by Toy Animation and has now basically had a tremendous blow made to his bag right at Christmas time. Classy. And Mark is the kind of guy who, if you watch his video, has made sure all of his content falls into fair use. He runs a company and has multiple employees. This is a bigger operation than myself. All that's happening is toy animation is exploiting YouTube's very well-known to be flawed content claim system to for some reason have his videos taken down. Why do I say for some reason? Well, because it's been shown time and time again with research after research that having people like Mark or myself make one piece content and use clips or pictures from toy animation in our content does not hurt them. In fact, it is free promotion, free marketing. No one watches our content and then goes, I think I've read or watched all of One Piece now. And instead what they do is they say, oh, all right, I have a brief little glimpse. This sounds tantalizing. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a watch slash read myself. But for some flawed old media way of thinking, toy animation has decided, nay sir, we are going to start basically coming after people's livelihoods and not only affecting Mark, but all of his employees again. Classy. And I want to make clear because I have seen many people claim, well, they must not fall in fair use with their content and that's why they are being taken down. No! Some of them were drawing videos that didn't have toy animation content in them. Meaning toy animation just copyright claimed someone else's drawing. YouTube's system is absolutely broken. I highly recommend you go watch Mark's video. He lays it out much more smoothly and eloquently than I'm going to here and gives you a detailed showing of how this process works. But YouTube as our business daddy essentially just says, hey, uh, this person has filed a content claim on your channel and uh, we're gonna demonetize your video and or take it down. Lovely. And then you appeal. And instead of actually taking the time to look at it themselves, which I get why they wouldn't, they have a ton of this stuff going on, YouTube then hands it back to the company and just goes, you sure? And of course, a lot of the time after 30 days, the company goes, eh, probably not. But they can also just go, Yes, and then once again, YouTube hands it back to you and goes, hey, this is now a copyright strike. If you get three of these, we take away your fucking livelihood and channel. That's right, if you get caught with three of these things where YouTube does not even look themselves, your channel's gone, boop. You can then contest this once again, and at this point, YouTube will take this copyright strike and say, hey company, this YouTuber is willing to take you to court you have another 15 days respond. And this has been 30 days, 30 days, 15. At this point, we're at 75 days. You can only do this one at a time. Because if you do three at a time, the channel's f***ed. I want to reemphasize a point here that Mark brings up. Not only are they deliberately crippling a small business, which is what Mark runs, for him to go through this process and have every single video released would take an estimated 37 years 
because he would have to do them one at a time. And usually at that point, companies will back down because they don't wanna take all these different YouTubers to court. Most of us would be really struggling financially to get by. Not every YouTuber is super rich and flexing stacks of cash. A lot of us are, middle class, upper middle class, trying to get by. And this situation has resulted in me boycotting One Piece and everything Toy Animation is affiliated with here on my channel. And I have gotten the question immediately after I sent out this tweet telling Toy Animation to suck my balls and then I will be boycotting One Piece as a whole as well as all of their future content here on the channel. Daniel, it's not Oda or One Piece's fault. And that's gonna get to my bigger point here for the video. And this may go beyond what Mark and a lot of people involved with this are wanting to do or have done. But I have to say selfishly from my perspective here as well, uh, I want to make the biggest, whiniest, babyest stink here as possible and get as many parties aware of the situation as I can. And yeah, making a big stink that a lot of their affiliates and people who are providing their bag aware of as possible is a good move. And toy animation, if you want to do something against me, hey, go ahead and strike my One Piece content. It'll hurt my wallet, but not nearly as much as you have, Mark. On top of that, I'm only stating objectively what's happening in the situation and only calling for myself to boycott what anyone else does around the situation is outside of my control. So, you know, I think I haven't really done anything wrong here. I'm just saying what I've observed. Because we don't have a lot of power in the situations we're in, all we can do is make our audiences aware, which would be a fraction of the amount of people toy animation is ever going to work with. And a lot of you are rightfully just gonna go, that sucks, I'm still gonna enjoy my movies and shows and stuff, bye. And I don't blame you, life's short. You're not gonna be a part of every movement or cause, but that leaves us, the content creators in the situation where we're going, I'm scared and I am scared. I've already had fraudulent copyright strikes on my channel. It sucks and I'm not willing to just sit by and let it happen to me again. So I don't know if Mark supports the idea or any of the other people involved in the situation at this point support the idea of a broad boycott of a lot of the franchises that are involved with toy animation, but I'm doing it. I want them to be embarrassed. I want them to have to deal with as many phone calls as possible. But my final plea is actually not towards toy animation. I don't think we're gonna see them back down. Maybe they will for specifically Mark, but even if that's the case, they'll keep up this crappy practice. They've shown a long history of not wanting content creators engaging with their crap and having fraudulent claims like this. So instead, my plea is for business daddy YouTube. Please, for the love of God, penalize people who abuse your system. If a company again and again is found to be in a position where if the YouTuber says, hey, yes, I'm willing to go to court, I know I'm right here, you finally take a look at the situation after these levels and barriers you've put up so it's not all of them, a lot of it'll be filtered out and you decide if your system is being abused. That way you can say, okay, company who's been abusing this system, we're gonna make the barrier for you to file this kind of crap higher and harder to get to. That should be on you, YouTube, because you are having your content creators operate with a gun to the back of their head. And so because of what toy animation is doing, where they are actually apparently claiming just still images, not even clips, just still images from their animation, I no longer feel safe creating One Piece content on my platform because it could end up with me getting more strikes and losing my platform. The thing that I have spent the better part of a decade building. So I hope you do not blame me in not covering anything associated with them again until something is done in this situation and pleading to YouTube, fix this. It's not okay. We're your money makers, man. Defend us. Please. That's your video for today. You'll be getting your regularly scheduled programming ASAP, and uh, I recommend you make a fuss about this online as well, because it's not a great position to be in. Bye.